Sports Trust acts as an implementation partner to its trustees, stakeholders and corporate donors. It distributes sporting equipment, kit and installs sports facilities in rural and historically disadvantaged communities in South Africa across all sporting codes for both abled and disabled sports. The South African National Road Cycling Championships took place in Otsuan from the 6th to the 11th of February and 17 of the Sports Trust Development Cyclists were invited to participate in the event for the first time. They had been selected based on their improved performances and were part of the Development Cycling Group in this year's event. Today is the fourth day of the South African Road Cycling Champs in Otsuan and now we're down to the hard yards. When I say the hard yards, it's under 23s tomorrow, it's under 19s tomorrow, it's the elite tomorrow. But more importantly today, we have the under 17s and under 15 boys and girls road cycle races. They're long routes, they're hot out there, it's, 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 it's extremely warm and testing conditions. The temperatures in Otsuan were very warm, but the cyclists proudly wore their new netbank kit. The extreme temperatures proved challenging for some, but overall, it was a good learning experience being able to compete in the South African Time Trial event. This afternoon we have the start of the under 15 boys cycle race and uh, that starts at 1 o'clock. Connor Solomon has been training extremely hard and uh, will give us his thoughts as, as to his training and how he expects to do today. Well, I expect to do well. I train very hard and um, I see there's some good competition and I really hope to do well. And Nasipu, tell us your thoughts about today and your training leading up to today. I, I want to do better than last year. Né? But this year, very hard competition. I did see that. Uh, I did time trial. It was hard. But I did try. I will try this competition 8.60 kilometers. But I will do try. Yeah. This was the final day of the time trial with the elite cyclists, pros and under 23s all competing against each other. Three of the development cyclists were selected to compete in a 158 km road race which tested their ability and performance. This is day five of the uh, South African Road Cycling Champs. The Sports Trust Development Cycling Program has had 17 cyclists take part in this event with mixed results. I think the main reason and the main purpose that the cyclists were here for, was for experience, for exposure and to find out what competitive racing is all about. The Cancer Association of South Africa's staff members were kept very busy at this year's race, helping everyone protect themselves against the harsh sun and hot conditions that the cyclists were experiencing in Otsuerin during the course of the week. Skin cancer is the most common cancer worldwide and in South Africa. We encourage all sportsmen and women to be sun smart throughout the year whilst enjoying your sport. I'm sitting next to Garth Solomon from Talfosuk High School. Garth has been involved in the development cycling program for the last five years. Garth has obviously achieved a lot of success and brought some talented riders through the program. Garth, tell us a little bit about Talfosuk your program and how the learners are benefiting from the program. Thank you, Mike. Um, the learners, I've started with 12 learners. They've matriculated and moved on. Um, over the years, I've had two learners um, that had some serious accident but pr um, pr produced good results. The learners are struggling in because of the township area, but they persevere with cycling. They work hard. We have the issues of training that is dangerous for them, but working together as a group and working with other schools in the vicinity, the program has taken up and a lot of other kids are seeing and interested. We started with boys only and now uh, moved on that we have four girls in the program. This opportunity proved to be an invaluable learning experience to the development cyclists who had been selected from the disadvantaged schools of Ocean View High School and Matthew Honewe Memorial High School stand them in good stead going forward for future races and time trial events. There are also community cycle races which are hosted by the Sports Trust throughout the year which encourage the community members and learners to come and participate in this sport. 
The development cyclists who competed in the SA Road Championships in Otsuan came from Ocean View and Matthew Honiwe Memorial High School. I'm that kind of a person who strongly believes that uh, it's not what is in the classroom only that count most in the development of a human being. You know, we are gifted in so many different ways. So that kind of a gift that one is gifted with will only come out when you participate in those extramural activities, those afternoon programs. You know, there are so many at the school, but then you give Elena a chance so that one can prosper in so many ways, not only in the classroom, but also outside the, the classroom. So it's to develop holistically. The children are facing challenges of being gangsters and, and they are smoking and doing all sorts of those things. So cycling is helping them by putting them away from those things. How? By, by spending most of their time in training, in attending um, cycling events and all that. Actually the guys who went to SHMs, I know them, all of them, but I didn't talk to them uh, for now but I was expecting them to see them afternoon today for a team meeting so we can share their experience and everything and so we can share and their obstacles where, where they, they had the problems and so that I can help them and try to encourage them where they didn't do well so the next time when they go to SHM they can do well. This year the Sports Trust entered eight learners from the development cycling program to compete in this multi-sport event. They were happy to be part of this amazing cause. This program provides these learners with a healthier lifestyle and they're now becoming role models within their communities. The Discovery Duathlon is an annual event that takes place here in Cape Town and we're very fortunate in receiving development entries for the young cyclists in the development cycling program. The team competed in a 5km run, 20km cycle and then another 2.5km run. This assists them with their cross training and improves their fitness for the development cycling program which attracts both male and female learners. Female cyclists in the program have always been a difficult or, a, or a, a, a challenging aspect because the girls are not always keen to cycle, the boys don't always uh, want to cycle with the girls because they can't keep up with them, the girls can't keep up with the boys and likewise the girls also scared to cycle out on their road. So we're very happy today to see that amongst the group of um, cyclists that are here, we've got three young cyclists, two of the girls are from Orchards Primary, which is in the Hex River Valley, the Duans region, and then we've got Nkodeni here, she's from Kailicha. Nkodeni, tell us, how did you find today's event? Event, and I'm telling you, we're right, and I come not be suffering because I'm going to go back and go right, so I used to go right by second, so when it comes by the ballet, I'm not going to be a cream, so it's very difficult, but I'm going to pay it. Thank you very much. And tell me, how did you find your ride today? Was it exciting the first time being at the Discovery Duathlon? Tell us a little bit about it. It was very excited. How's your training been going? Have you been working hard at school and at your training as well? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was working hard at school. Well, there we got our three young lady cyclists who you can see are quite nervous today. And um, yes, we'll come through the ranks, we'll make us proud going forward. And in a few weeks' time, these three young ladies will be riding in the Cape Town Cycle Tour. Good luck, ladies. Good luck. Have fun. The Sports Trust team would like to thank their stakeholders, NetBank and Western Cape Department of Cultural Affairs and Sport, for helping them to continue to enhance their education through sport. The guys all fared pretty well here today. I doubt whether we got any podium finishes, but that was not the intention. The intention today was educational for them to be part of this bigger event to see how the international triathletes will take place this afternoon and it's been great being part of this great event today. The Sports Trust together with its stakeholders are committed to bringing about transformation in sport and providing sustainable opportunities through sport for the learners, teachers, community leaders and coaches. We thank our donors and NetBank for their continued support so that we can create a better future. Join us at these Sports Trust events. The Sports Trust Community Cycle Race in the Western Cape will be held in the Dern's Burland and 
Orchards Primary School for Youth Day on the 16th of June. Beacon Hill High School in Mitchell's Plain on the 24th of September, celebrating Heritage Day. The final community cycle takes place in Pickerburg at Stainville High School on Saturday the 7th of October. The Sports Trust Corporate Quiz Challenge takes place on Thursday the 25th of October sure you enter your corporate teams to test your sports knowledge whilst raising funds for sports development. Finally, this year's Sports Trust Golf Challenge is on Monday the 12th of November at Sun City Gary Player Country Club, an opportunity to play like the pros, raising funds for sport development. To book, contact our office in Johannesburg on 011-802-1818 or visit our website, thesportstrust.co.za forward slash events. The Sports Trust acts as an implementation partner to its trustees, stakeholders and corporate donors. It distributes sporting equipment, kit and installs sports facilities in rural and historically disadvantaged communities in South Africa across all sporting codes for both abled and disabled sports. 